Hi, I'm Dave Epstein. Welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. And today we're talking about how to successfully grow foxgloves. All right, so here's the truth about this video. I wanted to show you my beautiful foxgloves. And I went to edit the video and I had deleted all of the foxglove video with the plants in flower. Now here we are in September, no more in flower. But we can still talk about the video. You don't need to see the foxgloves in bloom. You can Google foxgloves in bloom and see a ton of them. But what's important is the stalk. This is the key to keeping your foxgloves growing for years to come. And why is that? Because after the flowers are done, you get these little seed pods. And there's all the wonderful seed. And I collect it and I spread it around the garden. And I let those plants grow. And why is that? Because this is a biennial. And foxgloves grow one year, flower the next, seed that flowering year, and then the process starts all over again. So if you dig up your little teeny baby foxglove plants, you weed them out, you will not have foxgloves growing the following year. If you see your foxgloves not flowering in one year and you think, ah, they're not going to flower, I'll rip them out, they still won't flower because those are probably the plants that want to flower the following year. So that's the key. They flower, they seed, they grow for a year, they flower, they seed, they grow for a year. Let's take a look. Here we have some plants which have been growing in 2020. They didn't flower because this is their first year. These are from seeds from 2019. So in 2019, there was a foxglove here. It was really tall. The seed fell, it germinated, and all during this year, these plants have been growing. They'll flower in 2021. They'll drop their seeds. Those seeds will grow later in 2021 and actually into 2022 and finally flower in 2023. So that's how it works. Now the key is to recognize the little seedlings. So let's take a look at that. So here's a foxglove plant. It flowered in 2020. The seed pods opened up, dropped the seed down to the ground. And in early fall, we find that the plant is germinating or the little seeds are germinating. So you can see here all these little teeny foxgloves. Now they won't all make it. What will happen is, is the stronger ones will, will survive and you'll have like maybe a couple in here that will flower eventually. But what I want you to notice is the leaf, especially like if you look right here, see the shape there? And there's a texture to it and a color. If you look, it's very similar obviously to this. This is just mature. This is immature, but you need to recognize it because if you were to dig all this up, if you dug this up, if you weeded it out, or if you put down a weed barrier and this wasn't able to germinate, you'd eventually not have foxgloves anymore. So if you buy foxgloves and put them in and you want to keep having them, you need to let the seed germinate. So these are seeds which will grow in 2021, flower in 2022. They actually germinated in 2020, but their main growth will take place in 2021. They will not flower. So an example of that is this one back here. So this germinated in 2019, grows in 2020, flowers in 2021. And because I have all these foxgloves at their two different stages, the first stage, which is the growth stage, the second stage, which is the flowering stage, you're able to keep them every year. And that's the key. Recognize the seedlings let them grow even though they don't flower and don't worry that it doesn't flower it's just growing let it flower let it get its stock let the seeds fall and let the process continue there you have it this might seem a little bit confusing but it's really not you just want to remember that foxgloves are biennials they grow for a year then they flower in that flowering year, they put out seed, that seed falls down. It often germinates that same year, but really grows for the next one and then flowers the following one. So as I said, 2020 flowers grow for 2021 20, after germinating. They'll probably germinate this fall as we saw, or they'll germinate early in the spring. Grow for 2021, flower in 2022, and then the process starts all over again. I'm dating myself in this video, of course. If you're watching it 10 years from now, it doesn't matter. 2030, 2031, 2032. And I love to collect the seed and just throw it all around the garden. For Growing Wisdom, I'm Dave Epstein.